what's up everybody i am katrina from in cat we trust and i am back with another review video this time reviewing fast 10 but before i get into it and they will be spoilers please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so i was very fortunate to see fast 10 early last week i got to see it and so i was a little bit apprehensive about what i was going to go into because i wasn't a fan of fast nine i did like the first fast and furious obviously who didn't it was a basic story of brian or aka paul worker he kind of like got into the family with letty and you know dom and so we kind of see this we kind of see the relationship between me him and mia kind of start to brew and then we get a little bit of a break when we got too fast too furious which we get introduced to tyrese for the first time, as well as Ludacris for the first time, their characters in the Fast and Furious, you know, saga. And so, little break again, and then we wind up getting Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, which left me to my guy, my boo, Han. And I love Han. That's my guy. You know, he was supposed to have died in Tokyo Drift, and by now, I would hope everybody is aware Han is back. <laughs> he came back in Fast 9. We kind of was like, oh, he didn't die after all. And so, Jason Statham, who was on my list, because he was, I have my list. Jason Statham was on the list because you don't be getting rid of my guy hot. That's my guy. So anyway, um, we kind of get oh, like got to Fast Five, which kind of brought us to like this core group of people, which kind of also brought together all the other movies previously, which included Han, Tyrese, which I believe his name is Roman, uh, Ludacris, which I cannot remember his name right now in the movie. You know, you had Giselle, also known as Wonder Woman Gal Gadot, and we also had, you know, of course, Mia coming back, Brian coming back, and Don coming back, and Letty, who eventually will come back, I believe, in number six. Six, I believe it was six. Uh, she came back, and then you know, Paul Worker, unfortunately, his untimely death, which meant seven was kind of like cut in half. And then we find out Dom had a son. And number eight, we also got introduced to Charlize. Uh, they're on. We also got introduced to a few other characters previously. Let me round it back really quick where we got The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and number five, which was the intro to Hobbs. And we know we got the Hobbs spinoff, you know, with him and Jason Statham, and that's fine and dandy. But again, at this time, Jason Statham was on Katrina's list. And you don't want to be on Katrina's list. You don't want to be on the list, but he was on the list. And so we're now here with Fast 10, kind of the beginning of the end of a saga that has been around a really long time. I believe the first Fast and Furious came out in 2000 like late i want to say early 2000s i don't want to say too i feel like 2006 might be tokyo trip i think tokyo trip 2006 so early 2000s we got the fast and furious and so we're now in 2023 we're now at number 10 which i thought was going to be the beginning to the end but apparently according to vin diesel it's like one of three and so this movie is a bit of a trilogy and i just rambled so my apologies in advance for rambling a lot i did ramble but let's get to some of the things that happen again if you have not watched the movie yet or you don't care about some spoilers i am about to give you quite a few spoilers so if you haven't watched and you don't want to have anything spoiled for you pause the video right here come on back when you're done and tell me how you feel about fast 10 in the comments i will respond so we kind of start off the movie with you know of course family time it's family it's all about the family the barbecues we all know that all that's good fine and dandy and we see dom talking to his son i believe they were on some kind of racetrack and they were fixing the cards and his son was like you never get scared blah 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 and vin diesel dom is like you know i do get scared i don't want to lose you i don't want to lose my wife you know letty he don't want to lose his family the family and we get to some stuff going on in the very beginning, which implies that something is going down. And so Charlize's character does come in, Cypher, I believe that's her name is Cypher, and she comes in beat up and she kind of explains, oh, something is coming. And she wants to be on the side of Dom because, you know, the enemy of, you know, the enemy of my enemy is a friend. You know, that same goes, you keep your enemies close sometimes, and sometimes you got to work together to kind of solve this problem. And so we also kind of get a little bit of flashback to Fast Five when we think of what the crew did in Brazil by taking the bank, you know, taking the vault out of the police station and they then destroyed all types of property. I'm quite sure civilians died. There's no way civilians didn't die. But we find out that apparently there was a son involved, which leads me to boo number two, Mr. Jason Momoa. And now just quickly, briefly, I'm going to let's marinate that Jason Momoa is just 
everything you want person just he's everything and i wasn't sure like i love me so jason i really do but sometimes the movie rules he has is quite questionable and like i tried to watch game of thrones guys i really did and i just couldn't no matter how fine he was i just i could no i could not i tried i tried really hard no and there's quite a few other movies of his i did try to watch and i was left afterwards like now jason mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, he was alright in Aquaman, and I actually liked him in Dune. He was actually pretty solid, and even though if you've seen Dune, I hope so. And if you didn't, sorry, spoiler, he does die in the movie. And so, I was like, alright, let's give him a chance and see if he's going to be a good villain, because we never sure. I feel like every villain we get eventually becomes a good guy. You know, we had Jason Statham, again, who's on my list. He's good now. His brother's good, as you know, is played by Luke Evans. He's good now. You know, Cypher seems semi-good, maybe a little bit of good. And then we also had, you know, Giselle, who was a villain in the beginning. She was. In number four, The Fast and the Furious, I believe that's what it's called. You know, she was a villain that she kind of swatched out to the side and everything. And so, you know, we had kind of... And then we had Jacob, a.k.a. John Cena. You all know and love John Cena, who's been making his coins, get your coins, John. And he is Dom's little brother, Jacob, who, for the life of me, I'm trying to understand how a guy who's clearly completely white completely how they're supposed to share some family blood when i'm gonna assume vin diesel's character is supposed to be of some kind of latino descent because you know they play that spanish song every time you're in front of his house in california his mom was played by rita um rita marino i feel like i'm pronouncing her name last name correct i hope i am and she's also a woman you know a latina and so i was like i don't know he's supposed to, i don't know how you're supposed to make me believe him and john cena are brothers full brothers like where's what's what's happening here i thought the dad was supposed to be latino as well so i don't know but here we are and so you know john cena also became a, a hero at the end of number nine and so i was like all right let's see what goes down and so we find out jason momoa has a plan because he's upset that he lost his dad clearly somebody got some daddy issues he does and he starts going on a bit of a tirade and so there was a whole scene where they let up in rome which was a fake plot that supposedly they're supposed to get money to kind of put them back on the FBI, CIA, all the legal first bit around the world, put them back on the list. Remember, they got their names cleared in number five, uh, or number six, I believe. After they got Letty back, they was able to kind of get, you know, their lives cleared away, and all the charges kind of went out the window. And so now, after what seemed like a terrorist type of attack in Rome about the Vatican, Everybody on the squad is now on the most wanted list. And so things get a little complicated. And so we did, again, I'm not going to give like every, every, every specific. I'm going to put just little spoilers, like I said. Um, We did get a little appearance from Meadow Walker. And if you don't know who Meadow is, Meadow is Paul Walker's daughter. She's nice and grown up now. There is a scene that she has with John Cena in the movie. I thought was really sweet, really nice moment. Nothing over the top. I thought that was good. We also got to see Jason Momoa, who I actually thought, again, was a really good villain because I wasn't sure what to expect. He was very funny a bit sadistic and you know because he looked great because hello it's Jason Momoa but he was really funny in times and it made it work about how crazy he kind of was I feel like he might have been a little bit more ruthless than his dad or maybe because his dad died because he said his dad was kind of crappy so I really didn't understand how your dad was this bad you're going this hard for him but who knows I'm just I'm just a viewer and so we kind of see like throughout the movie every time we're thinking just maybe Dom is gonna get past Oh no, oh no, it's something else. And so we also get to see Han for the first time go back against Jason Statham, who thought he was, you know, he killed him, and clearly he didn't. And this led to a little bonding, bro bonding. And I was like, okay, all right, guys. But again, you have to watch to see exactly how that plays off. But this is going to be the biggest, biggest spoilers because there are some things that happen towards the end of the movie. And so why we get you know, Letty and Cypher kind of working together. We see an appearance from a lone love person that we have been missing for some time. Miss Giselle is back. And I'm really happy about that because I've been saying this since Fast, I believe Fast 6 is where she's supposed to die. How are we on the tarmac on the airplane and the airplane's going and you're not in the area and you fall down into this random log abyss and you die is beyond me. Especially since Hans Cod was supposed to explode and he lived. There's a couple of scenarios where Vin Diesel went through flames and flames and flames and he lived and nothing happened. And so I'm like, how did she die? And so she does make an appearance. So that's a really major spoiler right there. So Giselle is back. And the only one who knows this is Letty. And so um, I'm kind of excited to see how they're going to do this. And I want to see her reunited with Han because that was his boo. He was all sad and depressed. They made him his little dating profile in the beginning. And I was like, pause because hello, I will swipe right on you, Han. I will swipe right hard, extra hard. Click, 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 swiping right. 
for you, hon. And so, you know, I'm like, they're trying to make him move on, and now she's back. So, yay, let's get that. And then also, also, which was like, if you get to the credits and there's always the extra portion of a scene, we get another scene. And so you guys all know the drama between Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel. There was a lot of stuff going on on set. Vin Diesel was being a little bit of a prima donna, taking his time. And I totally understand if I got money to make and, and coins to get and all that stuff. I totally get it. But The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. Hobbs, will be back for the next part because apparently if you remember five he was an integral part of that whole plan kind of going through in fast five and he was the one who gave the final shot to the dad's head in fast five and so five movies later he's kind of gonna have to pay be paid for some of this and so i don't know what's gonna happen with character yet but he definitely was there and i knew as soon as i saw it i was like oh this is the rock like and voila so actually if i'm now rating this movie out of like five stars i'm gonna give it a 4.5 there's a reason why it's not a 4.5 as far as a full five stars and my reasoning is there were some moments that i'm like how and i know we got to suspend disbelief with fast and furious because people go through buildings people in water people in space it's all type of crazy stuff and you're supposed to accept this like this is not crazy but so there's little moments that kind of took me out of it but as far as like the story being pretty solid seeing some growth with these characters Han is finally really fighting back because I'm getting real tired of him getting beat up I was getting mad about that it was a 4.5 out of 5 I really enjoyed it way better than number 9 I feel like this might be one of my top of the group Fast 5 is my favorite one because we kind of get the intro to everybody but um you know this is probably maybe like number three. And I think I feel like this is me being biased about Han that maybe Tokyo Drift is number two only because I like Han. Because Lucas Black character really sucked. Didn't like him. Didn't like him at all. And so I don't know. And then we'll get me started with the girl because she really, I just want to flip her a couple of times. But I did like DK. Drift King was, that was, that was a man. That he was. But anyway, I really, really enjoyed Fast 10. It was actually really solid. I probably haven't enjoyed a Fast and Furious movie this much in a long time because again it was getting really ridiculous and so I'm hoping the next one or the next two depending on what it is now because I don't know will be just this kind of like the storytelling as well again I did give you some major spoilers but there were parts that I did not say because I do want you to see for yourself and see how you feel about it and so you guys tell me in the comments what you think again remember to like comment and subscribe I appreciate you all and thank you until next time guys bye